Hello students, my name is Neerati Sai and thanks for watching Edipedia word videos. My topic for the presentation is the 6th section of the chapter Morphology of Angiosperms that is flowering plants. In this section of presentation, we will be studying about the basic flower structure. This is the typical representation of a flower. As we know that flower is the reproductive unit in the angiosperms. That means it is meant for sexual reproduction. So this is pedicle. This is receptacle. This swollen part is receptacle. This is sepal. The green part is your sepal. This is calyx. Calyx you can say that group of calyx makes sepal. Okay. This is petal. The colored part of the flower is petal okay and many petals make corolla okay this is perianth this is filament filament or of the male part of the plant or the flower and this is anther anther bear pollen grains okay this comprise and makes stamen Stamen is a pollen producing part of the flower usually with the slender filament supporting the anther and this is uh, indicated by this sign okay and it is also known as androsium this is stigma which is a female reproductive part okay stigma is the part of the pistil where pollen germinates this is a style and this is ovary and all these part makes up the carpel which is a female reproductive unit of a flower and it is indicated by this sign okay and it is also known as gynosium this is locule present in the ovary and this is ovule this hollow part is locule okay so this flower is perfect and flower is monoecious monoecious means that it bears female as well as male part then that flower is considered as perfect and monoecious too let's again take uh, these part peduncle is a stalk of the flower receptacle this is the swollen part of the flower this is part of a flower stalk where the part of the flowers are attached as you can see petals are attached sepals are attached uh, filament is attached ovary is attached okay sepal it is the outer part of the flower often green and leaf like that encloses a developing bud okay. now comes petal which is a colored part and many petals they make up corolla so the part of the flower that are often conspicuously colored they are called as petals okay and many petals they form corolla stamen stamen is a pollen producing part of the flower usually with a slender filament supporting the anther as you can see this is bilobed anther so the stem in it supports the anther now what is anther it is a part of the stem in where pollen is produced okay now comes pistil pistil is a ovule producing part of a flower the ovary often supports a long style see this is your long style topped by stigma okay the mature ovary is a fruit and the mature ovule is a seed so this mature ovule is a seed and mature ovary is fruit this is a stigma the part of the pistil where pollen germinates and what is ovary ovary is a enlarged basal portion of the pistil where ovules are produced so this flower is perfect and monoecious that means it bears both male as well as female reproductive unit in one flower now some example stories perfect flower example is p which is exclusively self pollinating hibiscus is also self pollinating if not crossed okay so these are perfect flowers cherry self incompatible only outcrosses these are the example stories of a perfect flower now what are imperfect flower begonia it is unisexual but monoecious holy it is unisexual and dioecious 
that means only one reproductive unit is there in one flower okay variable cucumber male perfect female parthenocarpic so let's again take these parts of the flower calyx and corolla okay they are accessory organs while androsium and gynosium they are reproductive organs in some flowers like lily the calyx and the corolla are not distinct and they are termed as perianth so in this flower perianth is complete okay and please note that when a flower has both androsium and gynosium it is bisexual whereas a flower having either only stamen or only carpel is unisexual now we'll talk about the symmetry of a flower a flower may be actinomorphic that means radial symmetry or zygomorphic that is bilateral symmetry when a flower can be divided into two equal halves like this okay and that is known as actinomorphic for example mustard dhatura and chili and when it cannot be divided into two similar halves when cut from a one particular vertical plane then that is known as zygomorphic for example it is seen in pea gulmohar acacia and bean a flower is said to be asymmetric when if it cannot be divided into two similar halves by any vertical plane passing through the center it is seen in canna ovary is superior here and the flower is hypogynous now see that above the receptacle see that this swollen portion is the receptacle so above the receptacle then the ovary is considered as superior and the flower is called as hypogynous flower is epigynous if ovary is inferior as you can see this is the petal and below the petal there is a ovary okay so the flower is considered as epigynous because the ovary is inferior now comes flower is considered as perigynous if ovary is half superior that means see this is your petal and above a half ovary is above of it and half ovary is below of it so the ovary is half superior and the flower is considered as perigynous okay so flower is considered as hypogynous when the ovary is superior okay and flower is epigynous is ovary is inferior and flower is perigynous if ovary is half inferior and half superior okay so this is your flower structure review this is buttercup see this is bud these are the petals these are the stamen anthers this is the stigma this is a style and this is the ovary and these are the sepals so students this is the longitudinal section view and it does not allow us to consider symmetry but we can say that flower is hypogynous because the ovary is superior here now let's see symbol sequence to diagram flowers as i told you that there are two kinds of symmetry seen radial and bilateral radial symmetry also known as actinomorphic when a flower can be divided into two equal halves in any radial plane passing through the center then it is said to be actinomorphic and it is seen in mustard dhatura and chili and a flower is said to be bilateral symmetry or zygomorphic when it can be divided into two similar halves only in one particular plane for example pea gulmohar bean and acacia okay now number of parts per whole many sepals which are green leafy like structure they comprise and form calyx see it has five sepals sepals were the green part so five sepals are there now comes petals as i told you they are five in number now comes stamen in androsium you cannot count it so it is shown with the infinity sign carpel in the gynosium 
it is fivel number okay this is carpal in gynosium fusion within the wall curved line over number okay this is the whole of the petals which is corolla so all the petals are fused over a curved line so this is how you show it curved line over the number now fusion between holes a square bracket below the number like this a square bracket below the numbers is fusion is between the holes first was within the wall and this is between the walls now attachment of a flower parts relative to ovary horizontal line okay like this as i told you that uh, if the ovary is superior then that flower is considered as hypogynous so this is one below line and one above line okay because the ovary is inferior that why uh, this line is above okay and ovary is superior so that's why its line is below now plant structure and anatomy flower as i told you it is a reproductive part of the angiosperms complete flower contain both male and female organs what are male parts stamen and that anther that produces pollen okay and the female part is pistil that receives pollen which is produced by uh, male part and it forms seed see this is the typical representation of a flower this is ovule okay these are your the sepals this is a style of the gynoecium part this is a stigma okay and it comprises and form pistil all three parts they form pistil pistil also known as gynoecium this is anther which is bilobed this is your filament and these two are known as stamen okay these are petals and this is pollen tube separate flowers male and female parts both on the same plant but in different locations now what are other flowers single one single flower at the end of the elongated stalk a stalk bearing a flower is called peduncle okay let know about the cluster three or more flowers gathered close together may be simple or branched groups pedicel individual stalk of a flower in a cluster okay now what is inflorescence inflorescence is the arrangement of flowers or the group of flowers on a plant diversity in the arrangement okay now let's talk about the flower positions it is three in number terminal axillary or both terminal when the flower or the cluster are on the end of a axis or branch axillary when a flower or the clusters are at the junction of the stem and the leaf and the third when it has both the flower positions okay now comes uh, flower parts flower is highly differentiated and specialized branch of the stem it is a site of sexual reproduction because uh, flower is a reproductive unit in the angiosperm and it is only meant for the sexual reproduction okay and it is guide for separating flowering uh, plants into major groups what are accessory organs accessory organs as i told you calyx corolla and perianth are the accessory organs perianth is the outer flower parts it is composed of calyx and corolla okay that means calyx plus corolla is equals to perianth calyx is also an accessory organ it is a ring of a sepals making up the outermost part uh, sepals are leaf like okay and they are green in color but can be any color also exceptions are always there okay protection for the other floral part is the significance for the calyx colored part of the flower that attracts insects for the pollination that is petals and many petal they form corolla so this is the inner set of a leaf like part inside the calyx it is composed of petals usually white or bright colored to attract insects to the nectar and it protects the inner organs of the flower receptacle it is also known as torus it is the apex of the petal where the organ of the flowers are developed 
what is floral bract it is a modified leaves that stimulate petals it make inconspicuous flower more obvious so these five were the accessory organs this is the typical representation okay so this is your petal which is colored part this is a stigma this is a style and this is your ovary so what does a stigma do a stigma it receives a pollen during fertilization this is a style it is a tube on the top of the ovary it is ovary it is a female reproductive organ and these are ovules ovules are the reproductive cells which will become the seed with passage of time when fertilized by pollen now what is pollen this is antho which is a male reproductive part it produces pollen and this is your filament of the male reproductive part so it bears pollen and this pollen is being germinated by her ovules okay which later forms seed filament it holds the anther okay these are the calyx which are leaf like and many calyx they form sepals sepals are the small leaf under the flowers and this is your peduncle which is a stem that holds the entire part of the flower now we'll be studying about the essential organs reproductive structure which is responsible for survival of the species stamen male reproductive organ may be attached to the receptacle or the corolla filament it is thin a stalk attaching to attaching the anther to the flower anther it is the lobed oblong bag like as i shown you uh, on the top of the filament that produces pollen that develops the male germ cells usually yellow one to four cavities where pollen is released okay now what is pollen pollen is uh, different from species to species it is very tiny specks that form a layer of powder usually one celled spherical ovoid or disc like ridges spine and germ pores now comes pistils pistils is a female reproductive unit of a flower female reproductive organ it is usually in the center of the flower and it is surrounded by stamen petals and sepals may have single or multiple pistils depending on the species carpel it is either a simple pistil or one segment of a compound pistil okay flask or bottle shaped it could be and then comes style it is a long filament or elongated stalk that connects ovary with stigma now what is ovary ovary is enlarged bulbous base part of the pistil okay it holds the ovule attached via placenta it is attached to the inner wall or the central axis it normally develops into fruit containing the seeds because ovules they f with passage of time it forms seeds and the ovary it forms fruit so normally it develops into fruit containing the seeds then comes the stigma it is the tip of the style is specialized to receive pollen grains it may be divided into many slender parts now compound pistils have many united carpels may be so complete that it includes the entire female part of the flower now comes flower classification by presence or absence of parts complete flower that means it has calyx also corolla also stamen and pistil also these are the four regular parts then comes incomplete flower it lack one or more of the previous four that means one of these four could be absent okay in incomplete flower and what is perfect flower in which both the stamen and pistil are there and they may lack sepal and petal imperfect flower imperfect flower it lack either the stamen or pistil may or may not have sepal or petals okay what is naked flower no petal no sepal what do you mean by a petalous flower that means no petals are there what is staminate flower that has stamen but no pistil 
that means it has only the male reproductive plant okay what is pistillate fly that has pistils but no stamen that means it is a, repro a female reproductive part okay it contains only the female reproductive part terms used to describe flowering characteristics monoecious that means both staminate and pistillate flowers on the same plant that means female as well as male reproductive units are present on the same plant for example oak and corn what is dioecious dioecious is a staminate and pistillate flowers on the separate plant for example holly and brazilian pepper what is polygamous polygamous means hermaphrodite that means both like staminate and pistillate on the same plant okay that is red maple flower farm forms more specific way to identify flowering plants things to consider with identification of flower plants are degree to which flower plants parts are connected placement of flower plants on the receptacle and third is a variance in the number of subdivision of the four regular parts of the flower and fourth is variance in the symmetry of the flower forms so this was all about the flower classification and parts and forms now comes fruit fruit is meant for three things production for the seed means of dispersion ripen and seed bearing ovaries of flower in my next section of presentation we'll be studying about the parts of the flower okay so till then stay tuned and keep watching edipedia world videos